that was read up here from Isaiah that's what it was like the lion was eating the grass with the cow instead of eating the cow and now we eating the cow <laughs> but y'all see what I'm saying that's what it was like and he's going to bring that back again I can't wait to eat from the 12 trees with 12 different fruit on it Y'all ever seen a tree give different fruit? For breakfast, I'm going to eat that one. Go to the same tree, yeah? If for lunch, I'm going to eat that one. For dinner, I'm going to eat that one. And when I get lunch here at night, instead of going to get them potato chips and chocolate chip cookies, I'm going to go get this one. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the day. I don't know about y'all, but yes, Brother Lowe, you get it. You already working on it. You hear that echo, right? So y'all understand me. I look forward to the day. And as we laid to rest by Brother Tim yesterday, and I ain't gonna make Deaconess cry no more. I thought about it. When I get to the gate, 
You gonna let me in? Hallelujah. <laughs> what about you? You get me? In? Amen. I know it ain't no date, but y'all come on. Yes. yes. We can be humored about yes. it anyway, right? Yeah. So I want to talk about that today. Elder Elect, thank you for the prayer. Um, did you pray this morning? Deacon S. Mary Sanders prayed after Sunday school. Both of y'all hit it so I can ride it. Right? Amen. So let's go to work and let's, let us look at the second coming. Coming from the lips of Paul in Romans chapter 15, verses 4 through 13. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 15, verses 4. 4 through 13. Uh, Brother Lowe, what verses did I say I was going to read? Just four. Thank you. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I can't survive in this church without Lorenzo Green. <laughs> Amen. He, um, he, he doesn't know how valuable he is. Not only to me, but to this body. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for you. Um, amen. We're going to read one verse. Lorenzo told me I said one verse and that's what we're going to do. So when I don't remember what I said, he will. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah, see, yeah, I did say that, but I didn't remember it. Amen. So um, can I take a moment to tell you all that I love y'all. He loves us too, Jesus. Amen. The Lord taught us how to love. Yes, he did. If we hang out with him enough, we will grow in that love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Every day I, I should be have more love in me. That don't mean I'm gonna let you walk over. Me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But, Amen. but don't don't get it twisted. JD still in there. Amen. But but um, I won't do you what I would have done. Yes. Cause I got that love in me. I Amen. can turn around and walk away, but just don't come behind me. Yes. <laughs> Y'all follow me? Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. I got to show that love because I don't want little man there to be shown love in the wrong way. Yes, sir. Amen. Mm -hmm. I just looked at him and how he's looking, how he's standing with everybody else um, and how obedient he is. Mm -hmm. uh, I thank God for it. So we need to show him what he is. Praise the Lord. Praise okay, the Lord. Okay, now, I, I, he distracted me for a minute. He didn't distract me. It was a good one because I saw the look in his eyes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. When you have found the aforementioned passage of Scripture, verse, you will find this word from verse 4, from the King James. For whatsoever things were written aforetime mm -hmm. were written for our learning, mm -hmm. that we through patience and comfort of the Scriptures might have oh. hope. My Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise what we're going to talk about today is we're going to learn of the benefits hmm. of a benefactor. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Uh, what's on the screen, um, on the camera, it says the benefits of the benefactor, which is still correct. You got all of them. I know, but on... Yeah, yeah you, it says the benefits of the yeah, benefactor, yeah. which is still correct. Okay. So let's do it like this. We're going to talk about the benefits of a benefactor. Amen. But also we're going to talk about the benefits of the yeah. benefactor. Yes, you may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I think I'm going to hit on everyone's porch when I say this. Sister Star just got a new job. Hey, praise God. Hey, that's up. So the salary is nice. Amen. But the benefits are even better. Amen. <laughs> Y'all understand where I'm coming from. Amen. So everyone likes benefits. Yes, sir. Right? Yes. One of the great insights students of the Bible receive is that God offers benefits to his children. Yes. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. A prime example is found in Psalms 103. Watch this. Verse 2 of Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Amen. Yes, yeah, in the word right there. 
What benefits is that? Watch verses 3 through 5. Who forgives all your iniquities, and I got a bunch of them. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't squeaky clean. Amen. Who heals all your diseases. I got some issues. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm not quite sure if somebody else in here does as well. Who redeems your life from destruction because I was destined for a place called hell. If Jesus had not come and died in my place. Somebody help me up in here. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. Lord, thank you for forgiving me for my mess. Somebody help me. Who satisfies your mouth with good things. Yeah. So that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Hallelujah. I'm thankful because when I stepped up on that stage right now, I hopped right on up here. Amen. I could have been on a cane. I could have been on a walker. I, I, I could have been in a wheelchair and dig a ball and Lorenzo pulling me up the steps to get up here or I preach from down there. Amen. If at all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm thankful for the benefits yes. that God has Thank bestowed yes. upon me. As yes. I'm certain yes. you all are thankful yes. for the benefits yes. he's bestowed yes. upon you. Yes. 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 As important as it, as it is to not forget his benefits, it is paramount that we give praise to the benefactor. Yes, sir. Yes. Keep in mind there are not these are not just benefits, but they are his benefits. Yes. If there is no benefactor, there are no benefits. Ooh, yes. come on now. Yeah. A benefactor is one whose actions benefit another. One who makes a gift or bestows a favor. The word is derived from two Latin words, bene, which means good. And facio, to make, which means to make or to do. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Philanthropists often make news when they make large financial donations to charity. For example, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett have drawn considerable attention in recent years as they have given billions of dollars to charitable causes. In addition, they challenged other wealthy people to give at least half of their fortunes to the charities of their choice. Warren Buffett made this pledge. More than 99% of my wealth will go to the philanthropy during my lifetime or at death. Thank God for him, but I ain't getting none of it. <laughs> Amen. Jesus had benefactors. Yes, he did. When Jesus was on this earth, God raised up certain benefactors to enable him to carry out his assignment. Watch this. Let us look at three of these. When the wise men from the east arrived um, in Matthew chapter 2 verse 11, it tells us they bowed down and worshipped him. Yes. Then they opened their treasure chest and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Jesus was worshipped and those worshiping him who happened to be Gentiles brought valuable gifts from their treasures. No doubt these gifts were the resources, watch this, which enabled Joseph to take his young family to Egypt and to be sustained there until Herod died. Amen. What a benefactor. Mm -hmm. Jesus and his team had ministry partners who provided regular financial support. Luke chapter 8 verse 2 and 3 mentions many women who were of such a nature that they kept on supplying them with food and the other necessities of life out of their possessions. The Williams translation of this verse brings out the regular and consistent nature of their benevolence. Watch what he said. And many other women who continued to contribute to their needs out of their personal means. One of them was the wife of Chusa, who was the financial um, advisor or secretary for King Herod. So Herod, unbeknownst to him, was financing Jesus' ministry. Thank God for that. He didn't know he was a benefactor. Praise the Lord. You don't know who you blessing. Amen. You might not like them, but you're blessing them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. 
Even in his death, Jesus had benefactors. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus. In Matthew chapter 27, verses 57 through 60, tells us that Joseph was a rich man who requested the body of Jesus from Pilate, prepared it for burial, and placed it in his own new tomb, which had been carved out of a rock. John 19 verse 39 informs us Nicodemus joined Joseph in helping prepare Jesus' body for burial and that he brought 75 pounds of perfumed ointments made from myrrh and aloes. William Barclay says Nicodemus brought enough spices for the burial of a king. Amen. The New American Commentary says it was truly an immense amount of spice Indeed, it was enough spice to bury a king royally. Mm -hmm. When we think about benefactors and benefits, it is natural to want to pray, God, send me a benefactor. Send me someone like Bill Gates or Warren Buffett across my path, don't we all? Mm -hmm. There is no greater benefactor, though, than God himself. Amen. The church together will reap the benefits of the benefactor. Oh, thank God for it. Yeah. Romans 14, everybody, as I'm setting it up to go to the points and be out of here before 1130. When we think about benefactors and benefits, um, let, let me go on. See, they're laughing at me because they don't think I'm going to do it, right? But I'm going to show y'all today who's going to take me to lunch if I do it. <laughs> Romans 14 deals with the weaker believers. Go back and read it in your quiet moments because sometimes we weep. Are we dealing with the weak? And we'll know how to deal with them. Amen. In Romans 15, however, Paul classified himself with the strong saints as he dealt with a basic problem. Watch this. Selfishness. Mm. True Christians' love is not selfish. Rather, it seeks to share with others and make others happy. Sunday school coming back to us. Um, the other like Audrey Williams. It is even willing to carry the younger Christians to help them along in their spiritual development. Ain't Sunday school coming back in our sight? When we do not endure them, we encourage them. Amen. Amen. Come on. Watch verses 1 through 3. It ain't got nothing to do with the text, but for context purposes, let's take a look at it. We, are, we who are strong must be considerate of those who are sensitive about things like this. We must not just please ourselves. We should help others do what is right and build them up in the Lord. For even Christ didn't live to please himself. As the scriptures say, the insults of those who insult you, O oh God, have fallen on me. Okay. Huh. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. Three things the text tells us about not only the benefits, not only the benefactor, <coughs> but also the beneficiary. <laughs> which is me and you yeah. amen so all three are in it there has to be some benefits provided by a benefactor but who gonna get it amen. the beneficiaries amen. which is us ain't God good at somebody yeah. three things the text tells us the first thing I want y'all to see is this we all have instructions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know about y'all, but I wouldn't know what love is if I didn't read about it in the, in, in the scriptures or pages that come from the breath of God himself. Mm. Praise the Lord, y'all. We all have instructions. What, instruction, the one thing we don't read enough. Mm. They are contained in the pericopes. What is pericopes? They are Bible passages. Romans chapter 15, verse 4 through 13 is the pericopes okay. of this message. Ah, oh, yeah, y'all understand what I'm saying. It is contained in the pericopes. Okay. It's right there. <laughs> Amen. It is contained in the pericopes. Amen. So, so look at verse 4. Look at verse 4. Y'all gonna see this all day long right here. Such things were written in the scriptures long ago. Yes, it was. Why? To teach us. To teach us. Mm -hmm. It is contained in the 
pericopes. Amen. And the scriptures give us hope and encouragement as we wait patiently for God's promises to be fulfilled. He's coming back again. Coming back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Full of fulfilled promises. Yes. So the question in my good morning message is how are we waiting? When, if Jesus was to come back right now, where would he find us? How would he find us? What would we be doing? Would he be pleased? If he found me and I'm still written in the Lamb's book of life and I wasn't where I need to be, he's still going to forgive me. Amen. Because I ain't perfect. Because any little bit of imperfection in me is, is enough to send me to hell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear me? So but that's for some of those that think my sin ain't, ain't worse than yours. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying. I need to be forgiven for my, for my little stuff as well as you do, do for your big stuff. Or my big stuff and your little stuff. Yeah. Somebody praise the Lord real quick if you don't mind. Y'all understand where I'm coming from. I need some benefits from the benefactor. So this beneficiary can live forever with him. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It is contained in the pericope. What's in the parentheses? It consists of teachings on patience, praise, and participation. Are y'all with me here? Let's go and look at it. And all of them that I just laid out would be in verse 5, but we're going to read it through 7. Amen. Watch this. In verse 5, may God who gives this Patience. patience. Now, boy, we need some patience, oh, especially when dealing yes, with some folks yes, that don't know yes, the Lord. Y'all yes, understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I don't get whether you whether you know him or should know him. Amen. Amen. May God who gives this patience and encouragement, which is praise, y'all understand, help you live in complete. Harmony with each other. That's the participation. Y'all, yeah, we got to get this together. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ain't no us versus them when it comes to the kingdom. Yeah. Are y'all with me in here? Mm -hmm. uh, as is fitting for followers, which are beneficiaries of Christ Jesus, then all of you beneficiaries can join together with one voice, giving praise and glory to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, yeah, I love those. Mm -hmm. Accept each other. Yes. Just as Christ has accepted you. Yes. So that God will be given the glory. That yes. right there yes. keep you from pointing your yes. finger yes. at somebody else. Amen. Because you got your own set That's of the moment. next point I'm going to make. Not only do we all have instructions. We all have issues too. Yes, yes we do. Yes. yes. Did I say all? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Can I can I go look this way? Did I say all? Oh. Oh. Ain't nobody right there, but did I say all? Oh. 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 Fingers at somebody else with another finger pointing back at you. Yes. We all have issues. Who do you mean? Who? Everybody. The pious. In the text, it's the pipe. What do you mean, pipe? Those who think they're privileged. My God. Oh. Just because you go to church don't mean you're privileged. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let me, let me help y'all out a little bit. Look at verse 8. This is what got me. When I was reading the text, there's a word. That starts off verse 8. That told me that they were pious people. And that word is remember. He told them. Now y'all remember. That Christ came as a servant to the Jews. To show that God is true to the promises he made to their ancestors. Yeah. But you ain't the only one. So he had to tell them. Remember. Remember. Can I read that again? Yes, Remember that Christ came as a servant to the Jews to show that God is true to the promises 
he made to their ancestors. Because they quick to go back to talk about Abraham. They quick to go back and talk about Isaac. They quick to go back and talk about Jacob. They quick to go back and talk about um, Isaiah, whom they killed. Y'all understand? Mm -hmm. And when Jesus came to fulfill all that was promised to those ancestors, they killed him too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Are y'all with me in here? Mm -hmm. These were pious people. Well, pious means devoutly religious. Y'all know any church folks like that? Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> Just cause they belong to Second Morning Star Missionary Baptist Holiness Church. <laughs> yes, sir. That your name automatically is signed, no matter how self righteous you are. I'm talking about the pious, those who think that they're privileged. Yeah. Just cause you wear your dresses down to your ankles, okay. don't make you privileged. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Just cause you can pray like them old deacons for an hour, and, and that don't mean. You privileged. Amen. Just cause you got 10 armor bearers at a throne to carry you to put you up on the pulpit to preach. Don't make you privileged. Yes, Just cause you give more money in the church than anybody else. Don't make you privileged. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Just cause your daddy was a deacon in the church and the Sunday school superintendent for 50 years. Don't make you privileged. Amen. Somebody help me up in here if I'm stepping in here. Tizzles up in here. But you ain't privileged. Like you think you are. That ain't going to get you in the gate. When your name is called. Amen. Somebody can preach Come with me if you want to. Yeah, Y'all understand. Amen. So we all have issues. Including you pious ones. Mm -hmm. Especially you pious Yeah, especially you pious ones. Amen. 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 Y'all with me here? Yes, so we all have issues. Not only the pious. But also the pagans. Mm -hmm. The ones that the pious ones look down on because mm -hmm. they don't go to the same church yes, as you. Yes. Okay. Oh, come on. Praise oh, the Lord somebody. Mm -hmm. come on now. Oh, they got that little old church on the corner look like a house. Mm -hmm. They ain't got no steeple like we got on ours. Mm -hmm. The same Jesus in your steeple church is, is the same one in yes, the unsteeple yes, church. Sir, Amen. Sir, you sir, ain't sir, no, sir. don't look at me like I'm a pagan yes. when I'm privileged too. <laughs> Somebody help me up in here if you don't mind. So, the, 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 so what's wrong with the pagans? They think that they're neglected. Why do they think they're neglected? Because the pious told them they were. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A lot of people don't want to come here because we ain't got no steeple on our church children. But that's all right. I'll take those that don't care. Like I don't care. Praise God, somebody. You'll learn more in here than the one with the steeple in it because everything in the steeple in it ain't in the sanctuary. Yeah, help me, somebody. <laughs> somebody help me up in here. So the pagans also have issues. Look at verse 9 through 12. Well, watch this. This floored me. He also came. So he told, verse 8, told the Jews, remember. And then he comes back in verse 9 and says this. He also came. Remember, fellas? Then he come back and told them same people. He also came. Y'all y'all following me here? He also came so that who? The Gentiles, which are the pagans, mm -hmm. yeah, might give glory to God mm -hmm. for his mercies to them also. Mm -hmm. You mean he's giving them mercy? Mm -hmm. And they don't go to our church? Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. You might not like it, but they're beneficiaries too. Amen. Praise, on, the Lord, Praise the Lord, somebody. Watch this. And then he went and proved it. Okay. He went and proved it. Why? Because it's written in the pericopes. Y'all remember what that is now, right? So watch what he does through verse 12. Watch what he does. He says this. This is what the psalmist said. Oh, no. This is what the psalmist meant. Because they, 
They was looking at what he said, but didn't know what he meant, mm -hmm. evidently. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is what the psalmist meant when he wrote, For this I will praise you among the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. I will sing praises to your name. And watch this in verse 10. And in another place it is written, Rejoice with his people, you Gentiles. That sounds like participation. Mm -hmm. That sounds like harmony. So it sounds like he's telling the Jews, which are his people, you Gentiles rejoice with him. Amen. Ain't that what he said? Yes. yes. And look at verse 11. Paul says, and yet again, praise the Lord, who? All, All you Gentiles. Gentiles. Oh. Praise him, who? All, All you people of the earth, meaning the pious and the pagans. Uh -huh. Paul took him to Bible study, and then he wrapped it up in verse 12, and he said, And in another place, Isaiah said, The heir to David's throne will come. Second coming. Y'all ain't in yes, here. Sir. And he will rule over the Gentiles. This is Romans. This is after Jesus died. So that's why I said second coming. Yeah. Let me start over. And in another place, Isaiah said, the heir to David's throne will come and he will rule over the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. They will place their hope on him. Mm -hmm. I had a question. Why was so much attention made toward the Gentiles? Because the pious or the privileged told the pagans that they were nothing. Mm -hmm. Made them feel like they were nothing. Mm -hmm. To the point where evidently they believed it. Mm -hmm. How are we treating people? Mm -hmm. Which goes back to the question, how are we waiting? What are we doing mm. while we wait? Mm. Are we acting piously? Mm. Or are we acting like we're privileged? <laughs> no matter what somebody else says about you or thinks about you, you privileged. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord, somebody. Amen. So the text tells us we all have instructions. Mm -hmm. oh. But we all have issues. Yes, we do. Come on, man. Oh. But it's one thing we all got, those who belong to, well, let me put it this way, all of us who are beneficiaries, no matter what you think about me, we all have inheritance. Oh, Amen. Yes. <laughs> Somebody can pray to know that. Because I don't care what you think about me, I don't care what you think about our church, I don't care, but I know I'm privileged and you can't tell me otherwise. Amen. Matter of fact, you might need to go look in the mirror find out if you pray. Right. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. Lord. We all have inheritance. Yes. And it's right here in verse 13. Watch this. I pray that God, Paul said, the source of hope, not you, <laughs> will fill you completely with joy right. and peace. Why? Because you trust, you trust in him. him. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes, we then he goes on to finish it up with this and says, then. Y'all say then. 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 Not if. Mm -hmm. Not maybe. Mm -hmm. Not perhaps. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so you can't say then until you put your trust in him. All right, Amen. Come on. Did I make that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't know him, you can't trust him. If you're not reading his words, you don't know him. Right. Come on. If you listen to more gospel music thinking you're praising God Woo. and not his word, you're going to come up come short. On. Amen. Come on. Amen. I know some folk got more CDs in their house <laughs> and one Bible. 
<laughs> and listen to all the CDs and don't read that one Bible. In my house, I got nine, ten Bibles and use them all for different reasons. Not to be bragging about I got a bunch of Bibles because you can have them too. But they all have a purpose. Yes. Amen. So that I can be clear on his instructions. That would minimize my issues. Amen. I didn't say take them away. Because they ain't going to be taken away till it comes again. But minimize my issues. Yes. I ain't as bad as I was, but I ain't as good as I want to be. Y'all ain't in here with me right now. But, but be because I got an inheritance. Why? Because I trusted in him. Because I know him. Then, you will overflow with confident hope. How? Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Without him, I ain't going nowhere. nowhere. Come on, Bishop. And I ain't growing nowhere. nowhere. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm close enough. <laughs> I'm sitting there wrapping up like they look at the, the clock watching over. But look at what time it is. I'm wrapping up right now. I want to close with a question. We all have inheritance. Amen. Oh. But we all have a choice whether or not we receive it. Amen. That means the pious and the pagan. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I hope y'all got it. I'm done now. Y'all can shut the clock off. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. If y'all got any questions, please, please, please call. If you're watching it, you know you can send a message. You can do all of these things. If you want to bless this church, you can go on Ivory.com under Greater Faith Baptist Fellowship. You can even go on our website, Greater Faith Baptist Fellowship. And um, there's a giving button on there too. But you need to go on the website, period. Just see who we are. Amen. I'm waiting on the Lord to come. And I pray he's pleased when he comes. And he will be because my faults will be forgiven. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Call us. I love you. Nothing you can do about it. We'll see you next week for the third week of Advent. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord.